Koi Wasabi. This is Jerby from Couch Wasabi. So for today, I have yet another special coffee that I'd like to talk about. So this is going to be from Candid Coffee. It's their very, very special Ethiopian Wash Wash. Nice name, no? Anyway, if you're interested to get to know more about this bean, then please keep on watching. Ayan, so it's a fine Tuesday morning. It's actually very cloudy. It has been cloudy lately, but I think that's okay because it's really nice to have a really good cup of coffee, especially during rainy days, diba? Feel na feel nyo ba? By the way, <laughs> You might be wondering why today I am wearing pajamas because why not? Because naman, diba? I'm always team bahay. So for everyone who's also team bahay, for sure you can relate. Now if you can just stay in your jammies the whole day, you would. And I could, so I will. <laughs> All right. So let's get very, very cheeky and comfy today. I wanted to share with you this very special batch of beans because I'm truly in love with it. Um, just a side note, I've already tried brewing this yesterday, actually. So, normally, when I get a new batch of beans from any roaster, I normally get in touch with them and ask their recommended parameters. Just so, as much as possible, I can capture whatever that I have to capture or whatever that they wanted to present in that batch of beans. So, with this one, I talked to Candid Coffee. Candid Coffee will always have a special place in my heart simply because they're one of the first few people who were really, really nice to me when I first started dabbling into coffee. Um, if you might not remember this, pero sila yung nagpahiram ng komandante sa akin years, not years, months ago. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I was really happy that I got to experience their komandante. So, thank you so much for that, Candid Coffee. And... While I was thinking of new batches of beans to buy, I actually bought these. Hindi to sponsor da. I buy most of the beans that I try. If not, I think I mentioned it on the video anyway. If it were sent to me, sita sabi ko sa video. But these are the loa. I bought two bags of beans from them. For this one, this is one of their very special, as in in their latest post, na they categorized this as pang impress ng joa. So. <laughs> If you want to impress someone like ako, I honestly like learning about coffee because I wanted parang to be able to serve. I mean, I wanted to be a good host. You know, when people come over in my house, I wanted to be able to serve really mind-blowing, amazing coffee. Something that I've never tasted ever in their entire life. Something that they will remember. Ito yun. Ito talaga yun. Pero... I wanted also to brew this today the way that I normally do it. Kasi kahapon, when I tasted this coffee, I followed um, their recommendation, which is, let me just pull it from my messages with them. The recommended parameters for Ethiopian wash wash is V60, 15 grams, 225 ml, medium fine grind, 93 degrees, and 2 minutes. So what I did with that yesterday was the pulse um, brewing method, yung 50-50, 50 grams, 50 grams for every 30 sec. So, syempre hindi ka naman sa 50 grams. So, more or less, aabot ka ng 225. Parang pag ginawa mo 55 grams or parang 50, well, whatever, right? So, more or less ganon. So, when I did that, I was able to achieve the amazing notes. I will talk about the notes later, but I will also talk about the notes Today, as I brew it with my regular favorite Daiso dripper, star talaga ito. Kasi, <laughs> it's super affordable. It's very beginner-friendly. For everyone who's thinking that pour-over coffee is so much more expensive than French press, kaya ko French press kayo, I highly recommend everyone to please do away with French press na. <laughs> Lahat tayo may misconception na ganun. I also thought French press was the most economical, the entry level for any coffee appreciation thing. But no, it's a total waste of money because eventually you'd want to graduate from your French press and mas maganda yung pour over, believe me. So the cheapest pour over things that you can buy is this one. It's from Daiso. It's only 88 pesos. You can check out your Shopee for that. This is also 88 pesos. Daiso, the brand is still there for 90 filters. No one can beat that. I've still been using these too. Actually, on a normal day, no-brainer um, method ko ito. 
Kasi mas mabilis yung naisin kaysa yung V60. Parang mas maraming parts. Ito parang, I'll just grab these two. Tapos yan, tapos na. Yung V60 ko kasi, di ba, parang marami pa siyang hiwalay-hiwalay. And I tend to like to um, use my Lily Drip with that. So, yun. I've never really tried using Lily Drip with this. But nakita ko, si Master Lyndon, he used Lily Drip with, ano, with this one. So, anyway. Um, okay. So, let's just talk about the beans first. Na sidetrack na tayo. I was actually buying this other batch of beans. So, ito naman. This is their also very special Costa Rica. I will put the info here so that you can read also. So, this is Candid's Costa Rica Terrazzo Don Mayo Bella Vista. I will not be tasting this today kasi hindi pa siya nagpipik. This was just roasted last February 18th. And it needs... About two weeks for me to wait for this para maging masarap siya. You can taste it, but as much as possible, I'm very anal about peak dates. I really follow. Kasi para I wanted to be able to capture and taste the bean in its prime state. As in yung pinaka, pinaka masarap na i-offer niya. Yun yung gusto kong ma-capture on my first taste and on my video, on, on this review. So we will not be... Tasting this, I will not be talking much about that, but um, make sure to subscribe on this channel if you're new here. Don't forget to click that notification bell button so that you are updated when I have a new video about coffee and whatnot. And abangan nyo when I feature that in two weeks' time. Okay, so today we will be talking about this Ethiopian wash wash. And this is one of their very special coffee. What makes a very special coffee kapag... Hindi kasi parang hindi marami yung um, batch na pwede niya gawin in a year. It's very, very um, rare, I would say. Not rare, pero limited. Simply because, I guess, the growing conditions and stuff aren't really that... Kumbaga talaga pang special occasion lang siya. <laughs> okay, so let me just pull out the information. Okay, same lang pala. Okay. So, Ethiopian wash wash is evidently from Ethiopia. As you may notice, I really love and I really dig Ethiopian coffee. Um, yun talaga yung parang profile na pinaka nag a sa akin. I'm not being a snob. I'm just telling the truth. Um, keep in mind that I'm not really a coffee drinker before I started dabbling into coffee. Like, for everyone who knows me since I was young, since I was in high school, college, I'm not the type who ever hung out in Starbucks to drink coffee and study. It's, it's not me. I don't drink coffee talaga. I dabbled into coffee kasi I got interested dun sa iba-ibang flavor notes. It was really, um, it got me really curious. I was really amazed to hear na, oh, there's blueberry coffee. Parang lasang blueberry. Or there's like peach. And then when I attended one of the um, coffee training sessions that I had, before, para mas ma-formalize yung knowledge about coffee, I was really blown away by this specific coffee. It's a competition coffee, very limited, very expensive. One bag is about 2,000 plus pesos. That's 250 grams. It was really expensive, but it was really good. And when I say good, upon opening the package, amoy na amoy mo na na it was peach. Tapos even pag grind, even pag brew, it was really constant, constant siya na peach. And that really blew my mind away. It's very unforgettable. And since then, I am somehow on a mission to find something that would satisfy me the way that batch of coffee did. Parang kahit na papano, parang dapat legit when they declare the flavor notes, dapat legit. And so that has been my guiding principle whenever I feature a certain batch of beans in, in my channel. Um, I featured a lot. And I have been disappointed a lot. And okay lang, kasi uh, you have to also keep in mind that coffee is very subjective. So whatever that I've been saying in my past videos and whatever that I will say in this video is not an end-all be-all thing. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, just enjoy your coffee with me. If you feel the same way, if you've tasted that specific batch of coffee and feel the same way, shoot them down below through the comments. Of course, I'd love to hear also what you think. Kung pareho ba tayo ng vibes, kung pareho ba tayo ng capture And it really makes me happy whenever someone comments na, Hey, I, 
I tasted the same thing. Ang tama, yung sinabi mo na again. So parang, you know, it really makes me feel good. It, it's like an affirmation for both you and me na parang, yes, nakuha natin siya. Alright, so let's go back to Candid Coffee's Ethiopian Wash Wash. This is a very uh, um, rare, hindi nila parati itong in-offer. So, this was recommended by Candid talaga. I was really ordering yung Costa Rica kasi my friend um, recommended that I should check out Central American coffee versus focusing purely on Ethiopian. Kasi I'm honestly been looking for a really, really nice, sweet, stone fruit kind of batch of beans. As in, nagahanap talaga ako. So, I've been buying Ethiopians here and there, different companies, different roasters. Um... In all the coffee that I have featured in this channel, I would say a handful lang talaga yung I would recommend to friends. Like if a friend would come here and say, Hey, I wanted to buy a really bougie batch of beans and what can you recommend to me yung parang hindi ako mapapahiya? You know, I can name you a few. Definitely, yung hindi rin ako mapapahiya. Um, and I would say, this is one of them. Talaga. Um, not being biased because, you know, I've never been really biased. You can watch naman my video. I've never really super raved about a specific batch of coffee. It, if it weren't really that rave-worthy. Um, and I will tell you, this is really one of the up there on my list. Um, let me just read through what's on the label, okay? So, this is truly a unique coffee that has been fermented and carefully picked through 120 hours and dried on raised beds. The result is a coffee serving strong, developed, fruity flavors of honeydew and watermelon with a juicy body that has us reminiscing of our younger years spent chewing bubblegum. Honestly, I didn't taste bubblegum, but it was really very fruity. And to me, I captured a lot of berry notes from it when I tasted it yesterday. So today, um, using my regular brewing method, um, I will still do the pulse brewing, 50-50-50. But I will be using ito. So, medyo may konting pagkakaiba with this. Kasi parang may konting immersion and drip siya. Versus yung V60 na total drip. Plus with my V60 brew, I still use my Lily drip. So, I think that also affected it. But I, I still hope to enjoy. And um, this one is from Guji Ana Rosa Wereda. And the process is anaerobic naturals. Elevation is 2,250 MASL. So, that's like above sea level. Something like that. It was really high. So, sabi nila, mas mataas yung sea level. Mas premium coffee. Sabi nila. But ako, it doesn't really matter. Kasi, I don't know. Basta maganda yung end ng cup. I'm happy now with that. So, don't be guided by the MASL or whatever. Um, what's important is, if the coffee appeals to your taste. Okay? So, let us take a whiff. And we are about to start. Okay, so wait. Since ang recommended nito is not boiling hot, I will start na heating my water. Because it may take a while to let it cool down at 93 degrees temp. Alright, I'm so excited. So let us take a whiff. Sit up. Okay. It's really very fruity, even at its dry state. It's so good. It's like strawberry cookies. You know, yung strawberry filled cookies, parang ganun. Ganun yung naalala ko sa kanya. Parang basta. Okay. So I'll just be using 15 grams for this. I normally got 12, pero... Sige, mag-12.5 tayo. <laughs> Kasi, sabi natin yung usual ko. 12.5. Tapos, 200ml. 50-50-50. Okay? Okay, so I'll start heating my water. And I'll start also grinding. This is set to medium fine. Um, I just also cleaned my grinder. Mabilis lang po. Yan, 
finish na. I think finish na. Hopefully, hindi marami yung static niya. Yeah, hindi masyadong marami. So, that's the technique. Um, yesterday was so much worse. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I can smell the strength now. Unlike kanina, para siyang strawberry-filled cookies. Ngayon, parang mas may strength siya of being parang wine. Winey. Yesterday, when I was brewing it, hindi ko pa siya kin-experience kin na ganun. I just really tried brewing it. I didn't really, like, sniff it for every stage. I'm just experiencing everything now. Okay, so I will preheat this first. So, I'll just give you a peek on the grind. Yan siya, medium fine for our Ethiopia wash wash. Alright, I won't be using brew timer now. I'll just be using my regular clock. So, nag brew na siya. Ooh, dami. I'll just preheat. Why do you need to preheat? Just so you... Do away with all the paper dust and potential paper taste. Is it important to preheat? Well, sabi nila konti lang naman yung paper taste. I'll just have to discard this. All right. So tapon ko lang yung natitira. All right. So okay. And now I can capture like slight tinge of citrus. Parang fruity pa rin siya. No floral at all. Hmm, so good. Okay, so let me just... Glorious. Hmm, mas okay nga pag merong water. Hindi siya masyadong nag... Static. It's crazy kapag nag-static to. Ang dami talaga. Okay, so here is my grind size. That is... Medium fine. Okay, ready na ba tayo? Ready na tayong mag-measure ng water. <laughs> so, I normally measure out my water here in my gooseneck. As you can see, I'm only using a regular gooseneck. I'm not even using like expensive goosenecks for now. Um, just to show you na even the basic things are enough. Especially when you're starting, you don't really have to stress out about all the gadgets. Kasi sometimes you don't really have to buy all of them all at once. Like, progress according to your need. Like, ito, I haven't bought myself pa yung may timer na scale. I'm still using the same old scale that I've been using for every single crafting thing that I do. I use this for my jewelry making, I use this for my essential oils, I use this for my formulations, and I use it for coffee. So, tipi tipi tayo, very practical. <laughs> um, I think the most splurge that I did is this, is the grinder. But I can honestly say that it was a very well thought of purchase. It, it was a very mindful decision and it really helped. Parang all the impulsiveness will just give you regret. So before you really invest on something, pag-isipin mo talaga siya. And so far, happy ako. It really helped me bring out talaga the flavors that I've been searching for. Sometimes na I'm thinking, baka yung mga review ko noon, kaya hindi ko na-capture yung mga very volatile citrus and floral notes. Perhaps it's because of my grinder. Pero I wouldn't know na. Unless I buy them again, right? So anyway, so let us just do the pouring. I'll just use my regular timer, not the brew timer. So just clock and clock it up 30 seconds per 50 ml or 50 grams. So let us do this. And start. And I will try as much as possible not to go over. <laughs> so good. Bangunya. Oh, so good. 
okay and then second yeah 50 okay I don't want to smell it, so I'll sit down. Mm. Okay, next round, I'll sit down now. Oops. And then this time, on the third one, I will swirl. Bagong pauso. <laughs> That's what I normally do now. I used to stir. You can also do that. But now I swirl. Yun din yung ginawa ko kahapon sa V60. On the third pour, I swirled. Okay. So definitely, this will produce a different cup. Kasi parang mas meron siyang immersion na nagaganap. Um, mas matagal yung drawdown time nito than yesterday okay and finally fifty all right so I would say this is about 110 ml and you can again do your swirl kung trip mo it's fine so I normally do swirls on the third and fourth pour and this is what we call pulse brewing. Yeah, medyo mas matagal yung drawdown nito kaysa sa kahapon. Kahapon kasi sumasakto ako every 30 seconds. Now, may pool of water pa siya. And I'm curious on the difference of the taste. Alright, so I think we're done here. Let's just wala na, move this away and try to take a whiff. Hmm, iba siya. Okay, so let's wait for about 10 minutes for this to cool down before we give a taste test because at this point, wala pa tayong malalasahan, papaso lang tayo dito. Okay? So I'll just get back to you, maybe fix it a bit, and... Let's continue the review. Okay, let's start tasting this. Cheers. Oh, so good, Delaga. It really has sweet notes into it. I don't really taste the cacao. It says here it has chocolate cacao. Buti na lang wala because I don't really like cacao flavor and chocolate in general. <laughs> so the taste note, okay, let me just show you. The taste note, as written at the back of the label, is it says that it has chocolate cacao, berries, dried fruit, and wine, and citrus fruit. I would say the winey part of it, I was able to capture during its dry state. Also, some of the like flavor of the fruits. Citrus. Citrus was upon grinding, I was able to capture that. Chocolate. Sana walang chocolate because I don't really like chocolate. <laughs> um, in front, it says it has grape, rum, strawberry, honeydew, and cocoa. And in the description, they mentioned specifically honeydew and watermelon. Reminiscent of bubblegum. That's like a really heavy claim to have bubblegum. But we'll see. You know what? Bali balik tarin mo, masarap siya talaga. It's not your typical Filipino coffee nor your typical Barajo coffee. It's very different. And you will really get that difference on the first sip. It does develop in your mouth as it lingers. So, pag mas pinatagal mo siya within. Mas pinatagal mo siya in your mouth, then there will be like some sort of a coffee. Um, I would say tea-like dimension into it, but 
it goes down very smooth, very suave, very clear. It also has a whiny, parang wine, and note into it versus having a very coffee and note into it. So it's very different. I mean, this is something that I don't need any other thing to pair it with because I would really love to enjoy this on its own. Um, it's something that I would like to have every day. Not really, not really. <laughs> By the way, this bag costs about... How much was this? I think it was 800 plus. Let me just check. Actually, I forgot. So, it is 800 for 200 grams. Or 800 plus for 200 grams. Um, it's so nice. Talagang hindi ka mapapahiya. As in. It's really super good. Um, of course, it's not like sweet all throughout. The taste will develop and change as the temperature changes. So, what I'm saying is, it's good from start to end. From its dry point to its grounded point to its freshly brewed point, even to its cooler state. It's something that I really enjoy. I really love this coffee. Um, so far, there are, there's just one other coffee that I, wait, no. So far, there's only two other coffee that I always keep in my list, like in my Kach Wasabi Recommends list. <laughs> so this is the third ranker there. Um, maybe in time, maybe I will taste more coffee and in time or maybe at the end of the year or like anniversary or whatever i will have my roundup of best coffee for 2021 or something like that diba para masaya so <laughs> i think that would be fun um and i think it's also fun to have like other people in in my video also diba parang so that you can taste the same coffee and exchange our thoughts about it. I think that would be fun. So if you have any suggestions on who I can collaborate with in my video, like we can do a Zoom call and just make it all recorded and then flash it here, the right? Parang fun yun. Anyway, so if you have any other suggestions on who I can collaborate with in a video, like we brew the same batch of beans and talk about it together in a video. That would be fun. Shoot them down below through the comments. I'd love to hear or meet all the other um, YouTubers that you see or you follow who also does coffee review. I think that would be fun. Because um, coffee is very subjective. So, you know, the notes that I may capture might be different. And I'm not saying I'm like super magaling about this. I'm not. Remember, always keep in mind, I'm not even a coffee drinker before this. So I'm just as noob as you. I'm just as nangangapa as you. I'm just sharing with you all my practical tips as a coffee dummy, basically. Um, I am in no way a Q grader and <laughs> I can't, you know, really tell you the significance of the MASLs on the labels, but I'm just telling you like the practical appreciation of it. Like if you have a bag of expensive beans, how do you say that it's worth your money? How do you say it's worth it, diba? Right? I mean, you know, that is what my channel is about. In whatever thing that I do, even with aromatherapy or with other internet, even with vaping when I started this channel, it was just about practical use. So there um it's really good also every time you sip try to 
like slurp to introduce more oxygen. Actually, dapat nga, pwede mo pa siyang ilagay sa, you can swirl it, or dapat nilagay mo siya sa um, carafe, or parang pour, para mapupour mo pa siya so that you can oxygenate it. So, you put um, more oxygen and bring out the cedar notes. You can do that. You can stir a little bit or introduce bubbles and oxygen. Or what you do, you just slurp. Mm. <laughs> it's really nice. Now, I can taste the slight citrus. It's not the acid na citrus. It's, there are citrus notes into it. Tapos, as soon as you swallow the coffee, wala na, wala na yung pait. Walang pait. <laughs> Pero, uh, if you keep it in your mouth, if you let it linger, the flavor develops. It's really good. It has a very, very different flavor profile. I'm sure, if you serve this to your friends who are very much into... You know, your typical barako, dark coffee, lipa, ganyan. They would be very surprised. Well, they would say it's... Hindi siya matapang. Of course, it's not. It's Ethiopian. Come on. And this is medium to light roast. I would say yes. Light to medium light roast. Na dapat naman talaga sa mga Ethiopian coffee. Kasi if you roast it very, very heavily, like dark roast, hindi mo na maka-capture yung innate beauty niya. When I say innate beauty, yung talagang all those profile that is inside your bean. You're just burning them off, in essence, kapag tinark rose mo siya. So, dapat talaga light to medium light. And I honestly just enjoy those kinds of coffee. Most of my stash are all light to medium light. I rarely keep or enjoy, um, for that matter, dark roast. Kasi hindi ko gusto yung kapeng kape. I'm not in it for the jitters. I'm in it for the flavor. I'm in it for the dimension. You know, the profile. Parang ganyan yung gusto ko. It's really good. It's really good. Wala talaga akong masabi. I would love to compare this with H proper's okay. Basta. At the end of the year, I will do like a review, a roundup of all the best coffee that I've ever tasted for the year. I think that would be fun. Anyway, guys, if you are curious about this cup of coffee, if you want to experience it the way that I do right now, don't forget to check out Candid Coffee. I will link them down below. Here's their Instagram. Check them out. I think they're offering this again for a limited time because this is just a limited batch of beans. So get your hands on this. Try it out. It's super worth your money, believe me. If not, let me know through the comments kung hindi kayo nasarapan. I'm very curious, talaga, if you find it otherwise i mean you know that's a very interesting um point to take but anyway but anyway thank you so much for hanging out with me here today thank you so much for always checking out my videos whether whatever content that i put up i really appreciate you being here and i really appreciate and i really appreciate everyone who is interacting with me talaga on social media, on Instagram, leaving comments, leaving DMs, leaving comments here on YouTube, and hopefully also on TikTok. I'm also on TikTok. I also do a lot of these coffee content there. Um, yeah, so I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this very cheeky episode that you know I didn't even bother to change no made the map because I'm team Bahai all the way. Anyway, so I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next coffee video. Bye.